Welcome to the Drain My Lawn channel, where our work reflects the God we serve. If you're in Charlotte, North Carolina, or the surrounding areas, and you're interested in seeing your project on our channel, give us a shout. Check us out on drainmylawn.com and see if we can help you out. We'll go ahead and get into this project. We're here today installing a French drain up against this home where the water seems to be um, collecting in the ground and staying up next to this house. So we're gonna, we're moving these bushes right now with the excavator, you can see these, some of these other bushes. And we are um, gonna make an area for a burrito rep French drain right through here and then run it out underneath the sidewalk into the street. We have our shrubs out, preserved as many as we can. And now we are in here getting our French drain excavated, getting the dirt out. We've discovered the old corrugated system. This customer has a PVC uh, downspout system that just kind of terminates right here, but uh, there's an old corrugated system that we have no idea what it's tied to. It hasn't rained in weeks and it is full of water. So as soon as we broke into it right here, it just, this is our trench filled with water. It's really interesting. We don't know where it's from. We've come in contact with something that could be an electrical line right there, also an irrigation system, but this is only eight inches down. Uh, we're gonna test it with a voltmeter, but it's going along parallel with the electrical line that was marked. Um, the electrical right here, you can see the, the red, uh, and that flag is on the next red one. So uh, it's kind of faded, but this is where the electrical is. That's where we came across something. We have our French drain trench ready to go. As you can see, there's no dirt on the side. We excavated it, took it all away, uh, moved it to another part of the property for the customer. And where you see the dirt starting to pile up next to the trench is where we're gonna put our exit pipe so that we can refill it back. We're laying plastic over our trench and our fill dirt so that it doesn't turn into mush. Uh, because as you can see, it looks like we have some, some potential storm activity on the way. We've uncovered our trench. We didn't have very much rain last night, so we're good to go. We found a water source, uh, definitely not the water source, but this is over by the sidewalk, which it could have been causing a lot more of this this water in the yard that we were seeing. Um, so this is just funny pipe with a fitting here that was leaking. We saw it actively leaking. So I cut it out, washed it up, and uh, just was able to pull it apart. And it's just a leaky old fitting. So, so I have my little fitting in here in between. Uh, the coupler, the barb coupler went really easily into here. So I'm not... Uh, sorry the light there. I'm not I am not very Confident that this is gonna be watertight, but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip this these pipe Clamps over the barbs It's real important that you get on top of the barbs and then clamp it down uh, Get some pressure so we don't get any leaking or if the pressure builds it doesn't pop One of the advantages of corrugated pipe is that you can have one length with no connections, no seams, not allowing anything in to get in. So you see here, we pulled our pipe all the way through. Definitely on the first try. Uh, we just went ahead and uh, excavated out with our pipe, got it nice as flat as we could underneath there and we're keeping it all one piece so this way it's not going to get clogged up it's not going to have opportunities for roots to intrude it's all going to be one piece all the way out so sometimes instead of using phones we just use the pipe Hello. can you hear the snap yeah, it sounds like water dripping or something. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? 
Out as well. And we've connected our um, our two pipes here. Taped. Uh, technically, don't need to connect. You don't need to tape this pipe, the perforated pipe, to the coupler. Uh, technically, however. Uh, we think it's a good idea because when you're moving the pipe and adjusting it uh, if you don't have it tight and secure it can come out and cause a lot of uh, uh, headaches so we recommend going every single connection just go ahead and, and make sure you tape them um, one on the solid side making sure you keep roots and water uh, water in roots out sediment out and on this side uh, you, you're just doing it to keep keep it together as you're moving it. Now we do the work and this is really important to always double check your trench after you've worked with the pipe and everything. Sometimes dirt gets pushed in there and falls to the bottom, gets underneath the pipe, creates bellies and uh, so we really need to make sure that we, we go and check the pipe, check our levels again and uh, that is gonna make it, this will be well worth it down the road. Uh, if you're doing your system, check right before you start finishing everything up, make sure nothing's underneath the pipe, raising that pipe, and clean your trench. So we are all done with our our installation of this French train, burrito wrap French train. And that's our exit. We water tested it earlier. Uh, sorry, my phone died so I couldn't get that on live video. We've seeded and, uh, and covered the seed with a topsoil uh, instead of straw. So that way we don't bring a bunch of weeds into the yard. Um, but as you can see here, this is where around our trench is. We cleaned it up, packed it in really well with the excavator. This is where we went underneath the sidewalk. And Evan over here is stitching up our burrito wrap French drain with, this is 18 inches deep with this washed round rock all the way down. So this customer allowed us to put their dirt on another part of their property for future use. Uh, and it doesn't really show that well in the picture, but this is a lot of dirt. Uh, as you can see, this is what we excavated for the, for the French train. It's very important that your contractor or you yourself, or um, if you hire us, great, but everybody that does a French train must take away the soil from the site and not reuse it in the same spot. Uh, otherwise it'll cause problems.